We're gonna be focusing on Lightroom today. The new gen remove feature. Here's a pretty sweet photo, but you know, we got like these chairs here, we got sandals, we got different layers. I wanna get rid of these things, right? Over here on the right, check it out. This is early access, by the way. We do have this generative AI feature. So let's say I wanna get rid of this chair. Let's just brush over this chair and then I'll go ahead and hit apply and it's starting to generate. So look at this. You can't even tell it was there, right? I would do it for the rest of them and then you get something like this, you know? Let's say I have this cool family photo. So you kind of scroll all the way down, you are gonna see this lens blur panel. And it's super cool. Let's say, you know, I got a sharp background, but I wanna put a little bit more focus on the fam jam, right? We wanna make that background a little blurry. I'm gonna go ahead and hit apply. So this panel right here is kind of your focus range. So if I kind of slide this to the right, you'll see that the foreground starts to get blurry. You know, now the focus is more on the family instead of just the super sharp background. Right, let's get into presets. Personally, I do like to do it as kind of a starting point to give me a look, sort of say. And then I like to add my own unique edits to it to just kind of make it, you know, more, more me instead of just slapping on a preset. If I go up here to the top right, for this one, let's go to futuristic. And the one I really like is FT02. So let's say I want it at the 75%. And then from there, I just like to mess with the global edits. The bottom left of the curve, those are the darks. And a cool trick to do is to kind of lift that up and you start to get this fade look. I do kind of want to turn down the darks a little bit. We can go over here to our global sliders and then start to bring down the highlights. And look at that, we start to get all that detail back in those brights. Maybe do a linear gradient just to kind of bring more attention to that bright peak a little more. And then I'll do a radial gradient to kind of go with this whole area, just really exemplify the light that's going on there. Boom, that photo is already done. I like that. So let me show you how I would make a carousel post out of this in Express. The canvas that I like to start off is, is 4316 by 1350. So I can upload from device. We'll go to the exports. So I'll extend this to the full length of this canvas. I do want to kind of darken it and then blur it. Another photo. I'll take this and then I'm going to make it the exact size of this photo. I can have a equal border by just adding this right here. So we'll duplicate this. And now I can just replace the image. So, okay, there it is. I'll do download. I looked up this shortcut, it's called Instagram Swipe Panorama. How many slide counts do you want? So I'll do four, it's gonna do its thing. So let's say I was going to Instagram and then I'll do one, two, three, four. So here you can see it's kind of this like seamless carousel post. Thanks for coming on here, man. And, and teaching us your ways. Fun. See you later. All right. Take care, everyone.